G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now today we want to have a bit of a talk about trees. I know it's a bit different, but this Sunday here in Australia is actually National Tree Day. And uh, Australia has a pretty bad reputation for losing trees. So please stay tuned, guys. We'll have a bit of a talk about what you guys can do to help our native wildlife and uh, contribute to our local ecosystems. They're pretty dangerous. Hey, we're So like I was saying, guys, uh, we here in Australia have a pretty bad track record for deforestation and uh, and not looking after our environment. Uh, in fact, we're number five in the world when you line up all the countries on Earth for the rate at which we cut down our native foliage. Now, when you bear in mind that the first few of these countries are places like uh, Indonesia and, and countries in South America, which we're pretty quick to, to throw stones at uh, their practices, such as palm oil and things like this, we really need to learn how to look after things ourselves. Because of this, I thought that I'd do a little quick video and share a couple of pointers for all, all our, our friends out there who, who want to help uh, replant some of Australia. And there's three big ones. The first tip I've got to, to share with people is think local. You see, it's a great idea to plant native plants in general, but Australia's a pretty big country. Something that's native to Perth in Townsville could well become a feral pest just as much as blackberries or oak trees or, or anything else from overseas. So you want to plant something, if you can, that's native to the area that you live in. Now, it seems a bit daunting at first, but your local nursery could probably help you out. Failing that, hop on Google and uh, look up your local CMA, your Catchment Management Authority, and they'll generally have a list of native plants in your area and they can tell you what to plant. The other tips that are, we can offer is think bushy. You see, something that most people do is uh, they want to plant plain old gum trees, which is fine, or uh, all flowering plants, especially in the suburbs. We've got this uh, pattern of planting all these really nice, pretty flowering native plants. And what we've done is create heaps of food for a few species, like lorikeets and honey eaters, and uh, basically let them come in and try and outcompete some of the guys who aren't quite so game, like the fairy wrens and, and all the smaller animals. So... A good idea is think bushy, sharp, mean. Some of the, the spiky plants that we don't necessarily think look all that nice are actually the best habitat. The other big one, we understand that not everybody can plant trees in their backyards. Uh, if you can't plant anything or you don't have places to or space to or the, or the money to, uh, there's plenty of things you can do to actually improve the trees that are already there. You see, it's all well and good us planting thousands of seedlings, but... It'll take a hundred years for some of these trees to grow up, a hundred years for them to die, and maybe a hundred years of them to grow big hollows that guys like Frankie could have their babies in. So if you can't plant trees, another great option is to do something like put nest boxes up. Help the trees that are already there be as good as they can be for our wildlife. So we hope that you guys can all get out and, and plant some native plants and, and help our local wildlife and the ecology in some way. So far... About 23,000 people have pledged to plant 880,000 native trees this Sunday. So uh, we'd like you to join in as well. On top of that, we'd like to pledge that for every view that this video gets, we'll also plant a native tree. So share this video around, guys. If you do like any of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or check us out on Facebook. We're Wicked Wildlife. Other than that, guys, like I said, plant a tree, help some wildlife. Have a good one and take care.